Hello, everybody. We are once again here with this amazing man who finally got his revenge after the whole Pleiades incident a while ago. Yes. And what do you got for us today? Still haunts me. I got Bougins for you. Bougins, yeah. right? Uh, this is not updated for the new format, correct? Yeah, nope, not yet. And well, we, can you talk is, about a little bit is, about... Uh, this is Leg Legacy of the Valiant, right. current edition. Legacy of the Valiant? Or, my bad. Uh, yeah, Shadow Shadow, Shadow, Shadow. This sh post I'm, Shadow Spectre. Yeah, I'm already so hyped about the new set. Yeah, so we can talk about future right, stuff in right. this in the file too, so you'll get a little bit of insight. So, let's go and get started. All right. Sir. So we got the Triple U motto. Triple U motto. Gotta have him. Obviously, it's Searcher of the Day. No need to explain what he does. Poor! Double, double Mikazuchi. Uh, yep. The new guy. Um, at three, he's really cloggy, and I find I don't need three of him. Just feel like it's a good enough backup plan. Right, right, right. I don't search him as much as I need to because, I mean, your main search is your turtle first and then dealing with whatever your opponent has on board. And then if I have to, I'll go into Mikazuchi. So why search turtle over crane typically? Why search turtle over crane? I'd rather have the, just the protection. Alright, but wouldn't crane also protect when this is a more monster-based game right now? Yeah, true, true, true. But I feel like the back, the back with the back row set up the way it is, so many people running just traps. Just traps. So with with him being an 18 B stick, I can generally get over most things. If they, if they have if they have a bigger dude, I have the traps to stop them. So basically, you feel like the traps that are relevant in the game are more important than the monsters that can run over Yamato. Yep. Okay, fair enough then. And then we got the double turtle. The double quillin and the triple crane. Same as yep. good enough. Yep, me. standard. Um, I play one of centipede. You liking the centipede? I like the one of centipede. It it gets a lot of outs when I need it. It's a searchable MST, which is really important when you can't get when you can't get rid of the it. So, any reason of the one centipede over the third quillin? I've never needed a third quillin. Is is the only reason. I've never had to blow up so much stuff my opponent has. I can gen generally with the cranes and the back row deck runs, it has no problem getting over the monsters. Alright, that seems basic enough. And then we got the one of bear, obviously. That bear. The standard honest. That ghost, amazing honest. <laughs> and then triple maxi. And are you planning on cutting this next format or? Maxi will probably get cut for the new for the new Beast Warriors. The only reason he's in here is to get to Yamato faster. That's I I was playing Triple Upstar over Triple Maxi, but having the ability to stop my opponent's plays and get the one that's all it is. So with Dragons gone, do you feel like you're gonna be playing like playing the Upstarts again or like playing Irasuda, which I believe is the new Beast Warrior? I know it just depends on how the next format shapes out. It'll be it'll be really interesting. Right. It, it's proven to be a one up, which is all which is all I want it to be. So you plan to at least cut two, but keep one at least. Yeah, it's possible. All right. And then trap cards, pretty standard. Vanity's emptiness, probably the best trap card in the entire deck. I'm surprised it didn't get hit this ban list. Uh, I can't believe it. Yeah, you're as surprised as I am. Uh, two and one. And then I've lost one. double mirror, lost. Uh, double yeah. chain, yeah. bottomless, yeah. compuls, deep prison, solemn, and the sword. Any reason for only one deep prison and no torrential? Only one deep prison, no torrential. Torrential is bad because. I have to keep Yamato on board no matter what. If I torrential and get rid of my own Yamato, I'm defeating the purpose of what the deck does. Right. So, and then the one of D Prison. D Prison is good in a lot of matchups, but I feel a double Mirror Force is a lot. Whore! <laughs> um, if I hit, what I do is I will. I think I took it out today, but I side a second D Prison. If I have to, I'll switch out a Mirror Force. All right, that just, it, it helps. So it helps in matchups. You have the coverage in that. Yep. And then we got the double tanky, which is gonna be bumped for the three. Which is gonna be bumped for the three, which I'm, sucks because now I need three ultis. I can't believe this card's actually back at three. That feels so out of place. They're not exactly. They're not hey, you guys are in time. Triple duality. Yep. Triple spoon. Yep. Double night beam. So, and carnation. So why only one carnation and double night beam? So what I was originally doing is I had, I had double MST and triple lance. And it was good while I was running double horn. Oh yeah, you're not running horn of the phantom beast. But anymore. I took horn of the phantom beast out for other trap cards, and it's proven to work out a lot better. Is it just because like horn feels a little too situational? Horn is really situational, and it it seems that I always draw right. horn when I have a crane on board. Hey. So this fact it's not gonna go. Away. Hey. So we have to give him his screen time so he so his orgasm is appeased. All right, I'm good. <laughs> so I ended up taking out. The lances and putting in the three MST, and I still need more back row removal because the deck does not fight through a lot of back row that well. If I can't get Yamato out, I can't win. 
So that's where Double Night Beam comes in. Because no one sees Night Beam come in game one. It's an easy side out game two and three. And that's just... So why Night Beam over Dust Tornado then? If that's your logic. Because you have to set Dust Tornado. And with the current Dragon format, being able to Night Beam return... Or a six cents. Or six cents. Right. It just wins game. Alright, that seems... Right now then, so let's see that extra deck. Right. Extra deck's pretty standard. Yes. Swanos. Uh, the new one. Kagatsuchi. Kagatsuchi. He's so good. He's, he's hard, to get, he's hard like to get out. I do too. He's hard to get out, but he works in really tight situations. Like, I've been testing this in Fire King and uh, Fire oh Fist, and I'm gosh. actually liking so it too. So good. So good. And then that's it for all the, for the two boosters. Um, then for other lights, we got Stellar Omega, obviously. The M7 to go with it. Are you planning? Actually, no, I, never mind. You don't even play multiple consoles, so there's no reason for no. Tebow to only. No, no. Uh, Star Liege to get out of six situations. It happens. Um, Turk King Bear. High Speed Sephiroth. Really? Yes. This is, okay, this one's a little bit. Explain this. Explain this? Yeah, like, you would not believe the amount of times where me and my opponent are at, like some kind of stalemate where we both have no cards. I top deck a, a crane and I'm like, I have to play it. I have to push for damage. And I, I play the crane, I attack. They still don't have an answer for the crane a couple turns later and I draw another crane. It's like, you know what? We're going we're going for the Ice Zephyroth. Okay. It, it helps in it just in weird situations it works out. Because I have never seen that before in Right. Movie, it just, so that's definitely different. Just like, be, it's just good to be prepared for all situations. I mean, you have the extra deck room for... Right, right. The extra deck room, it's not tight right yet. It's really just like, the, as long as you have the boot and stuff, yeah, you yeah. can kind of play whatever you yeah. want. I've honestly never gone into anything except for these three cards. Really? And that's it right there. So why... Maze, why do you actually make Maze Stroke over like Kagatsuchi for, for like, is it just because of the book and win effect or Kagatsuchi has to be two beast warrior type monsters oh right which yeah. is so that's which is awkward. pretty considering I only have six beast warriors in the whole deck it's pretty tough alright that... and then crazy box cowboy flagship yeah. chain yep all right. Pretty standard. So, what are you planning on changing post Legacy of the Valiant? Like, oh my are you... gosh, there's so much stuff that has to come out. So like, much stuff that's going to change. It's just like, are you planning on playing stuff like 101, the, the Evil Swarm, and uh... the new Evil Swarm is it's going to be a, a staple side deck card. Everyone will play it. You have to, especially with the next format. So I feel like it's going to be more rank four based. Yeah. So I think everyone's going to have it. Okay. Um, the new guy that just got announced the other day yes. is going to make the deck tier yes. one, I feel. Oh, Amaterasu? Yes, and then we're getting a new spell and trap card, both, which could help. I feel like what's going to happen is the Maxis are going to come out for the new Beast Warrior. They have, there's one other Beast Warrior that I can't think of. Um, I think he's a one of. He'll be, he'll be okay. Oh, the other, like the yellow yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah he'll, he'll be okay. He's not, he's not the best, but he's not terrible. Um... The deck will probably get trap cards cut. I feel like at that point, emptiness will end up coming out. And probably be moved to the side? Probably be moved to the side, yeah. Yep. So could we get a glance at the, at the side just because some people may yeah, not know yeah. what roughly it's, two sides I mean, obviously it's made for locals. And yeah, it's local environment. Okay, so this is yeah, a local yeah. environment side, so take this with a grain of salt. Yeah, but. yeah, it's not. I wouldn't. I think the best one is DNA surgery. I love it so much. Do you feel this would be... Worth keeping in other formats too, or it depends. Um, honestly, depending on what spell book to do next format, because I, mean, I mean, yeah, probably only lost they, their one fate, which doesn't fate, even they, hurt the deck. Right, they didn't get touched too bad, so it's not it's not terrible. And then Shadow Imprisoning Mirror because I just lose ten Zekers. Any reason for only one? Just not. I just don't have a second one. Okay, that's the reason for a couple of them. I don't have two. Same with this. I just don't have a second. And then Horn pretty good obviously the kaiser coliseum so did you prefer siding this over maining it because i just remember realized that you weren't maining kaiser in the main deck there's certain matchups that it's just not still good a whore. For. still a whore always it's just not good for certain matchups and drawing it is bad okay it's just weird. and then i side the triple lance if i need it depending on matchups um it proves to work pretty good against black wings when they go damage step and they they think they got my guy beat over and then I lance them. It just... Or when they go clue and you can manipulate it with like right. crane, honest, yeah. or lance. Yep, yep. It's too good. 
Uh, well, you go away. Double, yeah. <laughs> double Diddy Crow, yeah. double really Vayler, and the one of Raya. Yeah, I did. All right, that seems pretty good. Thank you very much for good, sir. Yep, thank you. And that was Bujins.